What are you giving up this Ramadan? We asked a group of volunteers to give up the comforts of life in Europe to live like locals in Senegal. But will their experience go beyond just taking selfies? Just the sheer amount of effort and energy that goes into catching a small amount of fish. That isn't a toilet. That is a toilet that you're standing on when you go in there. It smells as well. In the ultimate test this summer, our participants fish in the Atlantic Ocean, sleep rough in the desert, fetch their own water, and confront the harsh truths about their home country's history in this continent. Fifteen ordinary people from Britain and France have been thrown together for an extraordinary journey. They're travelling to Senegal in West Africa to get a feel for what it's like to live in some of the most remote parts of the country. They'll get a taste of Senegalese culture, food, history and faith. On the westernmost tip of Africa, Senegal is considered one of the more stable and democratic countries. It's been a multi-party democratic republic since gaining independence from France in 1960. Senegal is a coastal country that almost completely surrounds its neighbour Gambia. To the north it's bordered by Mauritania and on the east by Mali. It's a mainly low-lying, semi-arid country, although the south is tropical with forests and rivers. On this journey, our volunteers will visit and stay in the semi-desert areas of Kossi and Kossini Gu. But they'll also get a taste of life as a fisherman in the Atlantic Ocean and explore the island from where slaves would be taken to America. Known for its natural attraction, but also its French colonial past, Senegal still trades in francs and boasts well-known museums of African art. Saint-Louis, which was the capital of French West Africa, is famous for the old town's distinct colonial architecture. It's also a country that's home for Besiktas striker and former Chelsea player Demba Ba. My parents from there, I'm from there, even though I'm born in France, but my heart is uh, is Senegalese, and that's that's uh, that's how important it is. I've seen a uh, lot of things, a lot of good things, a lot of bad things, like everywhere. But um, the bad things there are like if you compare to here are mm, very bad. If you compare to here, but uh, Alhamdulillah, we just try to do our best to help the people that are in need, and uh, that's why we are here today. Although Demba was born in France, his family is still in the Senegalese capital and Demba spends considerable time fundraising for the country each year. He's keen to see life improve for Senegalese people. It's why he and his former Chelsea teammates are supporting our 15 volunteers on the eve of their journey. Uh, what's your message to them? What should they be looking out for? You know, it's good as well to see how people in the other part of the world live and uh, to see the difficulties they are going through. And it helps us as well when we come back to our cocoon, to our home, just to, to think, yeah, we have a very good situation where we are here. So um, it's a lovely country as well. They will love it for sure. But um, it will help them understand more the needs that, um, that the Senegalese um, are asking for, not even asking for a, a need. And, uh, it's going to be, inshallah, a very, very good and important trip. A lot of them are quite nervous about spending seven days without the mod cons and the luxuries that they're used to. Any advice you can give them? No, you know, it's, you're going to go there, you know, it's, it's, it's way different. But, you know, Senegalese people, they are, I think, one of the, the, the people, like, they have a very, very good heart. And uh, as soon as they're going to come, they'll be welcome. They'll be welcome and they don't need to worry about anything. The people there, they, they're going to take good care of them. Our team is setting off for their journey and what awaits them is a land of treasures, natural beauty and the sounds of a village ready to welcome them. Tomorrow on Selfies in Africa, get to know our team as they spend their first day in the desert. And we ask them what three essential items they couldn't have made this journey without.